A search engine for gestures. A way to sell your old clothes. Communicating the success of a digital advertising campaign. What do these things have in common? They are all products that this group of digital entrepreneurs hope to create over the next several weeks. This is the fourth cohort hosted by Toronto Tech Accelerator in Cubes. Started in early 2012, the program invites eager internet entrepreneurs to take part in a rigorous curriculum. In just 12 weeks, these startups will hone a product, polish a business plan, and start courting investors. InCubes is here to help. They supply office space and a large team of mentors to provide expertise. This isn't the first time we've visited InCubes. We've been following this company for the last three years. It's built itself up to become recognized as one of the top tech startup accelerators in the country. And this year, it's adding even more features to the benefit of the teams you see here. It's added $15,000 in funding for each of the startups and a partnership with a highly technical IT services firm. Teams could also access up to $200,000 more during their stay at the Accelerator. This will help the startups here pay for professional services to give their products and marketing efforts a boost. Financing during the acceleration term can mean the difference between um, a, a web app looking very polished and you know, being able to bring in graphic designers and, uh, and not. The partnership with T4G gives these digital startups access to much needed technical skills. That helps when building an internet service that is designed to work just as well for 10,000 users as it does for 10 users. Not yet two years old, InCubes has quickly grown into its role in Canada's innovation economy. It has gained recognition as one of the premier accelerator programs in the country. All the accelerators within the Canadian space obviously have a focus on, on all ends of the startup ecosystem, whether it's investment for the companies, uh, it's the business for the companies, and obviously the product development uh, on each of the, the sites, whether it's a web application or mobile application or software or hardware. One of the big pushes that we've given towards this specific program and cohort, and obviously from previously, is a big push within the business side of things. Now, it's hoping this new group of businesses will make a splash at the next demo day. From there, it's a battle to disrupt a market and bring in customers. For ITBusiness.ca, I'm Brian Jackson.